Hey there, besties. You hear that? We got a club name. We got a club name, my dudes. Besties. It only makes sense. Thank you, Marilyn. You're the dude. <laughs> um... Okay, so I was going through my closet. You know that I bought a bunch of shelves. Um, I'm going through my closet. I'm trying to get everything out of the closet, back into the world. Uh, I actually found a box that I had thrifted that I had completely forgotten about. I must have spent like $20 on it. Um, and then I just chucked it in the closet when we were moving rooms. So I just found it again. And uh, um, I already showed you some of the stuff we were talking about, um, fine details in another video. And I used some of those pieces as examples. Um, uh, so like the red glass and brass vase that was part of this and the little Limoges plate that's sort of poorly painted <laughs> so um but these were four dollars they still had their price tags on them um now listen <laughs> somebody somebody whose respect I like I, I mean uh I sincerely respect like every opinion that they've ever had uh about you know, art and glass and all sorts of stuff. They're like my go-to guy for all sorts of questions. But one day I showed them these and, uh, <laughs> they were like, uh, I don't think I'd have bought any of that. <laughs> I was like, that's fair. I mean, I don't think I should have bought any of it. So, <laughs> so that's definitely a reasonable statement. <laughs> so, you know, like not even ribbing on them or nothing. I'm just saying like, like, they were like, probably wouldn't have done that. And then they started messaging me, and they sent me, like, eight messages, and I could tell, like, they felt bad, <laughs> because cause it turns out that these $4 glasses that I had bought are Blinko, and uh, a set of five sells for about $80. We got a set of six for $4. So you'll note these are Blinko uh, crackle glass with pinched uh, features. And you can see they kind of just drove a punch into it, probably while it was still a little hot. And, uh, well, I mean, you would have to. And yeah, that gave it these, uh, these pinched waves here. And then obviously crackle glass. I hope we can see that pretty well in the video. So yeah, you'll note, um, you'll note the crackle and this gorgeous shade. Oh my goodness. You see how that changes color depending on the thickness that you're looking at? Uh, a rough pontal, don't worry about that. I've seen that in a bunch of ads for these. Uh, it's a very common thing. I, I almost think that's like Blanco's deal because I also have one of the decanters and uh, and that also has a rough pontal. So I think Blanco just kind of rough pontals them. I don't think that's a big deal at all. These things are gorgeous, aren't they? So yeah, I, you know, <laughs> they felt bad like like I could tell. And, you know, we, uh, we bounce stuff off of each other all day. It doesn't matter. We're both, uh, we're both full of information on occasion. So, uh, we really like, I think we relish each other's word on stuff a lot of the time. And <laughs> they were like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> like, oh, you probably, probably should have bought that. Probably a good call on that one. So yeah, I, I like these quite a bit. Kind of a funny little story. You know, you never know what you're going to be attracted to. You never know, um, I mean, obviously, blue is really one of my things. Uh, you know, I see something blue, and I'm, I'm usually into it, depending on the shade and stuff, whether or not it's actually, like, pretty or skillfully done. I realize now I could probably... I realize now I could probably show you that Blanco decanter. And we can see... Uh, we can see the rough pontal on that as well. See, they don't do much, by the way, at polishing it. In fact, that's actually kind of like a horseshoe little divot right there. <clears throat> Let me see if I can't get a little better light on that. So, yeah, you see that? So, Blanco, rough pontals. I don't think they care. Isn't that a pretty form? Uh, let me see if I can get back just a little bit. Very neat mouth to it. <laughs> Very neat mouth toot. Is that what he just said? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this little Blanco collection. These are the, I think, the only pieces of Blanco I own. But yeah, uh, watch out for these glasses, because, I mean, like I said, sold results were like $80 for five of them. So I think my set of six would do me all right, especially on $4. So I mean... So yeah, this is Austin, the best I can afford antiques channel. Always helping you learn something new, hopefully, and uh, 
look at something beautiful. I know we don't talk about prices a lot, but <clears throat> some of these things like I can't, <laughs> they can't stay in my house, man. <laughs> I ain't got, I ain't got no room <laughs> for another set of six glasses. Some are gonna have to buy these for me. <laughs> This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Hopefully clearing a little space sometime soon. And, uh, you know, just always showing you more new stuff and just more art and more beautiful things and more fascinating and wonderful things. I mean, I've never looked at the bottom of a glass with so much awe. That blue, that is just so rich and nice and deep and good. And look at that. Look at the yellow shining through the weird crackle bits there. Look at the, oh my goodness, were you even expecting a kaleidoscope show? Did that blow your mind? <laughs> this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel, and this is exactly the reason you don't make antiques videos at 10 o'clock at night. I love you guys.